power. The power. With DJ Larry Jones. What are some of the uh, blame? All right, it's time for the power hour. And on this segment, I have. All right, you're watching Mental Health Moments. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for the power hour. It's going home. Mm-hmm. So I had to find out more and. My name is Shauna, uh, and I'm one of the volunteers here at Shine a Light. Um, I actually um, am a scholarship um, receiver for Shine a Light, so it's super important for me to give back. Uh, we go into the tunnels uh, to pass out care packages. We go to the homeless camps on the railroads and around town. A lot of people look forward to seeing us on Saturday mornings. They know they're going to get a little care package, a sandwich, something like that. Um, what we do is we provide a way out if people want to get off the streets if they are using then we take them to detox and we provide them with a 30-day treatment from detox um, 90 days of housing sober housing and then up to two years of case management we help them get um, resources to get their vital documents back they have court cases we have someone who works um, with the courts try to help them out Um, so it's a really awesome program uh, if they're willing uh, to come with us Um, if not you know at least we're doing good Um, a lot of people ask if we get paid to do this um, and we don't you know they're shocked to hear that we're just volunteering but a lot of us are um, have been addicts ourselves have been homeless and so it's just really important to us to give back because our life has just improved so much you know since um, since getting treatment since going to detox since um, being clean and so we love to to give that to other people My name is Matthew. Uh, I'm a volunteer here for Shine a Light Foundation. This is my first time out. Uh, I'm excited about going out and uh, helping people. And I came to this uh, out of my own free will. I'm not through a recovery program. Uh, I just want to give back. I figure there's more to life than just working a job and, and paying bills. And we just got to try to make this world a little more beautiful and help some folks out.
happens is this. Like, I, this is my words, not the foundation's words, right? Like, it's almost like I'm coming in out of the wild, mm -hmm. right? Because I've been out here for so long, I've been conditioned. So if you think about your life, what is something in your life that you become conditioned to that maybe it's not something you necessarily chose, right? You just right. got used to it. Right. It's the same thing, right? Like a lot of people don't choose to be homeless, right? They become homeless and they become used to it. And it progresses, right? Like just like our addictions, just like mental health, it progresses right. over time. It's the same thing out here. Like I lived out here and what I can tell you is my world became very small. And our director, Paul, he says it the best I've ever heard. He says that you would think, right, for us looking at Jay right now, we're like, why does he take the help? Right. This is crazy. Like we've got this amazing life for him, right? Mm -hmm. But the way to, to, to understand it better is this. If I walked up to either one of you right now and I said, listen, you guys got cool lives, that's great. Yeah, it looks great. I've got a better life for you, okay? All you gotta do is leave everything you know, come with me, I got you. Even if I'm wearing all the jewelry, the car, all the things, right? Mm -hmm. There's fear, there's doubt, there's insecurity, right? You don't wanna give up what you know. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same thing out here. Right. Because their world has gotten so it's small, just, yeah, that, they, comfortable that is their entire yeah. that's their entire world. Mm -hmm. So those cardboard boxes, that little space, this little area, it's his world. What happens out here? He's used to it. Even the bad, he's used to it. The rain, he has become conditioned to it. Mm. So we're having to like break that down over time. Some people will never accept help. Mm. It is what it is, right? Like I'm, I'm powerless over all that, but we just keep showing up. Yeah, you want to? How are you? Really, we're just pa we're, we're throwing a net, right? We're just throwing a net every weekend, hoping, hoping that that's the day we catch them. That's the day because we have no control over them coming in or out. You know, mm -hmm. Jay's come out with us before. Jay's come out with us one time. Mm -hmm. Went through MP. That's why she was talking to him because she's seen him. She works at Crossroads. He came to front of him, was there with us for a little while, and he left, which is okay, right? He got a taste of it, and the hope is that in that taste, it'll diffuse some of the fears. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets a little bit more worse out here for him, he'll be he's more willing to come, right? Yeah. It, it breaks down barriers, you know what I mean? We don't give up. A lot of guys, I went through detox 50 sometimes, you know what I mean? That's not a unique story. Mm -hmm. How many times you go through detox? Yeah. Zero? Okay. Many people, 10 times, 5 times, try to get sober 6 times, try to, you know what I mean? All the right, things, right? right? Struggle with this thing for a while before we finally got it. So like, there's not many people that just like, first time take it. I mean, they're unicorns. Right. So this is like what we deal with. What we, 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 we help them walk through. Mm -hmm. So they do that and we come back out. We, just, we don't treat them any different. Mm -hmm. Same place. We love you. How you doing? Today's the day. Joking around with them. Like, you see the banter we have with them. It wasn't always like that, right? In the beginning, it was a lot of like, uh, they didn't know who we were. They didn't mm -hmm. know we were trying to like get over on them. They, all the things, right? And over time, we've kind of built up a rapport to where yeah. like, we hug them. We, we sit with them. We talk to them. We know their stories. We know their pets. We know, hey, three weeks ago, you had two cats. What's going on? You know what I mean? All the things. It becomes so intertwined. And uh, there's a girl that I see randomly sometimes. Every time she sees me, she comes out with her fists up. She's like, come on, today's the day, Rob. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> That's our banter, right? Because I'm from New Jersey. I got a little bit of sarcasm still left right. in me. You know what I mean? I like to talk a little shit and joke right. around. Right. And she bought into it. You know what I mean? So that, that's our rapport over time. She's never accepted help. Never even given me the inkling that she ever will. But she's guided me to other people. She said, hey, go check on this girl over here. Hey, go check on this guy over here. Right? Like, because our, our relationships with them has been so consistent and pure and in the right ways, right? Like focused on just how can I help? I'll tell them all the time. I'll take you to the hospital right now. I'll bring it back. No one's going to kidnap you. I just want to help you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you Six. 
Um, you know, we come out here every week and we hand out supplies, cigarettes, water, food, batteries, Narcan, whatever they may need. And, uh, you know, we're just here to build connections. We're not here to force anyone to do anything, but just to offer the help whenever they're ready and let them know that we're here for them. What's up? We just got done scoping the tunnels underneath the Rio, handing out supplies to the people, seeing if they want our help, see if they want to come with us to go check themselves in and transform their lives. And there are some kitties down there, which was very amazing because you know, a lot of people that are out here, their pets are what's keeping them out here. So letting them know that there are resources that people will help them watch their pets while they're getting the help they need is just a beautiful experience. <laughs> 